Hello, uh, my name is Ricardo Gonzalez and uh, we are from Moffitt Cancer Center, members of the sarcoma department. I'd like to introduce our team. This is uh, Dr. Zager, who is the director of regional therapies, and uh, Dr. Molinax, who is the uh, scientific program manager of the adoptive cell therapy unit at uh, Moffitt uh, Cancer Center sarcoma department. And I'm the uh, chair of the uh, sarcoma department. Today we'd like to discuss our study, which uh investigated isolated limb infusion for locally advanced soft tissue sarcoma. Isolated limb infusion is a technique of regional chemotherapy that's been described primarily for melanoma, uh, but our center has experience with soft tissue sarcoma as well. Uh, given that the procedure is performed uh, in a small number of patients, even at the highest volume centers, we decided to collaborate with five other centers with uh, experience using isolated limb infusion for soft tissue sarcoma. Those centers included Marietta Memorial Hospital in Marietta, Ohio, Fox Chase Cancer Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Duke University, and the Sydney Melanoma Unit in New South Wales, Australia. Combined, we had 77 patients who underwent 84 isolated limb infusion procedures. The majority of the patients had lower extremity disease at 80%, but 20% of the procedures were performed for upper extremity disease. Our median follow-up was 20.6 months. Now Dr. Gonzalez will discuss the primary endpoint, including the response rate to our procedure. Thank you, Dr. Molinax. So as described, there were 77 patients within this study. All of these patients were, uh, disease were considered unresectable uh, at the time of consideration for isolated limb infusion. The, uh, the study population consisted of 17 different histologies, and the most common of which was the uh, undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma, approximately 44% of the patients. Our primary endpoint was a three-month overall response rate. And uh, of the entire group, our three-month overall response rate was about 58%, which included about 29% of patients that had complete responses. What's meaningful about this is that about a quarter of patients who uh, were considered in this study went on to have a margin negative resection and preservation of their limb. And toxicity was fairly reasonable in terms of grade four toxicity being about 5% of patients, which is mostly found with extensive epidermal lysis or deep tissue damage. However, no patient required fasciotomy to manage the grade four toxicity. Now I'll turn it over to Dr. Zager. Thank you, Dr. Gonzalez. In our study, the time to infield recurrence was 70, 17 months for responders versus three months for non-responders. The distant metastatic free survival for responders was not reached, whereas the median distant metastatic free survival for the, those who did not respond to the isolated limb infusion was 14 months. Again, 30% of patients in our series in, after isolated limb infusion had a complete response. We then went to compare our 77 patients who had an isolated limb infusion for unresectable extremity sarcomas to 72 consecutive patients who underwent amputation for the same problem, an unresectable, maximally treated extremity sarcoma. The amputation patients had a median distant metastatic free survival of 6.4 months, whereas the 77 patients with isolated limb infusion did not reach their median distant metastatic free survival. The median overall survival for the isolated limb infusion patients, all 77 patients, was 44 months, whereas the median overall survival for the amputation group, the 72 patients who underwent amputation, was 18.5 months. Thank you, Dr. Zager and, and Dr. Molinax. So uh, to summarize, uh, I'd like to at least address a few important points in terms of conclusions here. Isolated limb infusion for locally advanced extremity soft tissue sarcoma results in a response rate in a majority of patients at about 60% of folks uh, having response to the treatment. The vast majority of patients were able to preserve their limb after a median follow-up of about 20 months. The median overall survival and distant metastatic free survival indicates that there's a positive long-term oncologic outcome of this procedure, and furthermore, there's no indication that regional therapy limits survival due to untreated or unrecognized distant disease. I'd like to thank all of you for your attention and time, uh, for the privilege of us uh, to uh, report our data, uh, which was previously shared at the Southern Surgical Association.